let's try to integrate tangent of x and secant of x. We know how to integrate sine of x, that's negative cosine of x. We know how to integrate cosine of x, that's sine of x. So let's try to find a function that when you differentiate gets you tangent of x. Let me start by rewriting this as sine of x over cosine of x dx. And we can apply our log rule. We can let our u be cosine of x. So let's let our u be cosine of x. Then our u prime is going to be negative sine of x. So we want negative sine. So let's put negative here, another negative uh, outside. And you have u prime, which you can ignore now using substitution. And you have 1 over u du, which is same thing as natural log of absolute value of u, also known as cosine of x plus c. Now let's try secant of x. Now this one may not, this one is not as obvious. And what we are going to do is we're going to multiply by secant of x plus tangent of x to both sides of this fraction, secant of x plus tangent of x. You're going to see the reason why. And the reason why, <laughs> I guess I'm going to show you right away. When you distribute, you got secant, of, secant squared of x plus secant x tangent of x on the top of the fraction. And you may realize secant squared of x is derivative of tangent, and secant x tangent of x is derivative of secant. So if we let our u be secant of x tangent of x, we have our u prime right up top, our u prime. So this thing is just natural log of absolute value of u, or secant of x plus tangent of x plus c.